This is Pastor Paul Chapel at Lancaster Baptist Church, and I'm standing today with Brother Jerry Furso, our Soul Winning and Outreach Director, and Brother Gabe Rule, our Adult Ministries Director, and we are super excited about the Spiritual Leadership Conference that's coming up June the 12th through the 15th. And one of the things that I'm excited about is the four outreach program that will be introduced to the nation for the very first time at Spiritual Leadership Conference. This program is a training program. Uh, it is a convenient program for soul winners. It's a comprehensive program for the local church. And we want to discuss soul winning and this new program with you because every senior pastor will receive this packet as your free gift this year at the Spiritual Leadership Conference. Now really, Brother Jerry, the, the fundamental distinctiveness of this program is very simple because we've taken uh, our valley and we're going to encourage you to take your city and divide it into four quadrants. And instead of having the one meeting at the church, we're gonna have four meetings on our soul winning night. Tell us a little bit about why that is a blessing in your mind. I think within our community, because a lot of our members are commuters and time is so valuable yeah. to them this will help them to go to a soul winning area closer to their home right. and then even make visits and knock on doors within their little community area. And I think we'll be more uh, effective in reaching out to those areas because we'll be able to develop relationships with people that are right around the block where we live. Right. And, and I know that you teach and have taught for 25 years the lesson here for the soul winners. So this is a paradigm shift for us. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have essentially three partners. Uh, in West Lancaster, West Palmdale, East, East Palmdale. And tell us about the format. Uh, when we gather together, say at a Starbucks or stay at a hotel lobby or wherever you're designing, what will the format be as far as the, the brief training or prayer or presentation of the calls? Well, first of all, we need to prepare for the calls. So we're going to have, by our adult Bible fellowships, we'll have, uh, for those people that will sign up for, let's just say, West Palmdale, We'll have visits for their class in a soul winning box just for that area. Also maps for that area to go door knocking. And then they'll gather together like at a Starbucks and they'll have a time of uh, just fellowship for a few minutes and then they'll have any type of annou announcements regarding the next Sunday okay. that they may want to use to use as a tool to invite people to come. And then of course they'll have time of prayer and partnering up. Now it's just going to be a great uh, neighborhood meeting of people with a heart for souls. Mm -hmm. Now, I think uh, one thing we would say right off the bat, if you're in California, don't let them meet at In-N-Out. It'll kill the whole program. <laughs> They'll stay there all night. Uh, pick a place where they can meet quickly, have the fellowship, get their calls. And of course, we're gonna pre-assign the partners uh, mm -hmm. long before they arrive. And so, uh, Brother Rule, tell us a little bit about the signing up of people for the four outreach program. And, uh, and how we're going to bring the people into the program and then how you and uh, Brother Furso will partner them up. About a month before we launch this program here at Lancaster Baptist Church, we've begun with a, a sign-up card in the bulletins of our adult Bible fellowships. And for four Sundays, we're encouraging our teachers to encourage our class members to sign up to be a part of this exciting outreach program. Of course, on the card, they'll tell us what location they plan to be a part of, and then the week leading into the launch week, but first and I will sit down and look at all the class members who signed up, those who should have that we need to call, encourage them to get involved, and then we'll partner them up, those who've been out before with newer ones who are just starting it for the first time, and then we'll communicate to them where the location meeting will be. You know, last September, I watched one of our members who lives probably 20 minutes away, uh, a good man, a medical doctor. He came in for soul winning on a Thursday night, uh, got his partner, drove all the way back 20 minutes to where he lived, made the visit that he was given, drove all the way back to the church and all the way back home. And I thought, what am I doing to our members? And how can we uh, equip the saints in a better way? And I, I really honestly believe if you only have eight people involved in soul winning, but you provide something closer to their home, it's going to tell them that you care for them. Now, this program has many facets. First of all, uh, it has a tremendous a uh, booklet that explains soul winning, the concept of a partner, the concepts of accountability, and every packet will have uh, this booklet for those who uh, register and sign up. You want to sign up, as we said a moment ago, about a month ahead of time. Uh, it will tell them uh, what they need to know about 
uh, the training, if they would like extra training where that happens. Also, for every church, we've made a promotional video. This has been made generically so that your church can use it or even dub in the times uh, for your particular soul winning program. In addition, everyone will receive the copy of the book to seek and to save, a training manual on how to lead someone to Christ. And uh, Brother Jerry, you've, you've taught hundreds of people through this material. Maybe just share for a moment uh, why we believe it's important for those that are brand new soul winners mm -hmm. to just have a class uh, once a week where they're learning how to witness besides going out on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I think we would all agree that one big obstacle why people do not share their faith is because of fear. Mm -hmm. And fear of not knowing what to do or what to say and the fear of failure. You know, not being able to do a good enough job in sharing their faith. And so the training time eliminates that. Right. And it takes them practically right down the gospel presentation and uh, gives them the tools so that they can go out and share their faith. And that's exactly right. And one of the things that I so really enjoy about this particular program this year is that you're going to receive a brand new product from Striving Together Publications in this packet that is a prospect book. The prospect book is something that we have designed. It's, it's a simple concept, but very profound in that everyone we're meeting out soul winning, everyone we're meeting in the community, we're training every member to write the name down and then to log whether they make a visit, a phone call, a text, and to contact every single person once a week. Mm -hmm. Now imagine that for just a moment. If you had a church with 10 soul winners and over a brief period of time, they each met 10 people and they log the names in the prospect book that will be provided in the packet. That would mean that 100 people each week are being contacted once a week. I believe if 100 people are contacted once a week, at least one person is going to be saved and baptized every week. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to give all of these tools, the soul winning book, uh, the four outreach explanation book, the prospect book, the video uh, for the church announcements, it's all given free to every senior pastor represented at this year's Spiritual Leadership Conference. And this is an equipping gift because this is what we believe. America will not be saved by whoever is elected in the next election. America will be saved by the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And so we want you to make a vote for soul winning and be here at Lancaster Baptist Church. Now, uh, as we wrap this up, Gabe, when you think about the Sunday School ministry and, uh, and how you and Brother Jerry work together on, for soul winning, uh, tell us just a little bit. Let's just kind of step into your guys' office for a minute and tell us what you guys are going to do on a typical Monday morning once 4 Outreach kicks off. How are you going to uh, help uh, to get the calls to the right people and then, Brother Jerry, out to the right streets? Once 4 Outreach kicks off, we'll have a lot of people involved in going out in the community and inviting people to church, which is exciting, and it's an obedience to the Great Commission. As people come to church on Sundays, they fill out a connection card, and we get that in, and then Brother First and I on Monday would sit down and look at the list of visitors, and specifically, we're looking at their life stage. How old are they, and where are they at in their relationships? Mm -hmm. This is going to help us to assign them to the right person because we want to get them into a smaller group of Lancaster Baptist Church so they can begin to meet people, Excellent. develop relationships, and stay. And then, Brother Jerry, from, from this meeting where you're kind of assigning the calls, uh, tell us how you'll take those calls uh, physically out to the four locations and how would the average soul winner coming in know where to go and to get their visit? Mm -hmm. Well, we work everything through the Adult Bible Fellowships, and so we'll have a soul winning basket uh, that we'll give to each of the men that will go to the outlining areas. And with that, we'll have absentees for those classes that will be represented at those areas, and then also a door knocking area, and also prospects, and then also people that visit a class. And so we'll be able to give all that material to that soul winning uh, director for that location mm -hmm. uh, to pass out those materials so that people have a place to go and a place to visit uh, the people that came on Sunday. I'm so excited. You know, for 15 years or more, we have been to over 400,000 homes here in our area with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and when I think about how many people are involved in soul winning and how much time they spend driving, we're going to save a lot of time and mm -hmm. even a lot of money uh, with four outreach. But more than that, 
our people are going to meet their neighbors and friends within a mm -hmm. five and ten minute radius. And I just want to encourage you, number one, June the 12th through the 15th, the 30th anniversary and Spiritual Leadership Conference. We've got some dynamic guests, mm -hmm. some very special guests coming from Asia and Europe, as well as all over America. And we're very excited. If you haven't registered, register quickly to get a good seat and to be a part of this conference. And then remember this, that uh, one per church will receive a free packet for the four outreach program, the booklet to seek and to save. It is a training manual with 15 weeks worth of lessons. The explanation booklet of the four outreach program for every layman. The video for every church to announce this several weeks in advance. And then the prospect book, which is at print right now, for every soul winner uh, to personally keep track and follow up on those people that they're meeting. That's all going to be explained and presented in a session and then given to you as a gift at Spiritual Leadership Conference 2016 right here in Lancaster, California. Thanks for taking a minute to join with us today just talking about soul winning, discipleship, outreach right here in this needy time in America. Let's be found faithful. Let's make Jesus Christ's last command our first priority. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, as the Father hath sent me, so send I you. We look forward to seeing you in June. Until then, God bless you.